Yeah, this is DJ Professor K, baby, the master of mayhem, know what I'm saying? Bring you another Tokyo Underground Pirate Radio broadcast from Jet Set Radio. A piece of video game creation which oft goes overlooked is soundtrack work and composition, yet I believe it to be one of the most important parts of the entire package in the creation of the products in this artistic medium. While most people are quick to point out the glory of a lot of soundtracks, most of which being from JRPGs due to their eclectic nature, or from western games with licensed soundtracks, the Tony Hawk's franchise springs to mind. It's important to note that every game has an underlining score, and it affects each game, both negatively and positively. It's not all that hard to find people who hail to the name of Urimatsu or Shimamura, but so many composers reside in the video game industry that it seems like such a disservice that their names aren't commonplace. Names like Keiichi Okabe, Hitoshi Sakimoto, and Takahara Ishimoto. Names like the focus of our efforts today, Hideki Naganuma. Best known for his work on the Jet Set Radio duology, you'll be hard pressed to find anyone who actually knows the name behind these critically acclaimed soundtracks. While a portion of both Futures and the original game's soundtracks were composed by third party bands from both Japan and the US to give the game its hip, cultural flair, Naganuma is by far the most prominent of the game's musical suppliers, giving the game its musical style that everyone recognises to this day. Tracks like Sweet Soul Brother act as the game's pseudo main theme to me. Being present in both games and while remixed in the sequel, both versions are incredible. Hearing the sample used in this song at the start of what could be the worst song on Tony Hawk's Underground 2's playlist, Soul Brother No. 1, was one of the weirdest experiences I had as a child playing video games, and certainly made me start seeing music in a more motif minded way. He's a sweet soul. Another interesting use of sample work from Naganuma, and one that truly signified his brilliance at using samples and solidified the usage as his style, was from the track Let Mum Sleep, yet again featured in both games. The sample used, as you hear here, was actually from an old British TV show. Growing up in England, hearing that thick accent made me feel at home in the game that while it was set in Tokyo, that it still had a piece of my home in it. I feel that the variety of songs from different countries in the games helps give the games a multicultural identity, and it's one of the reasons so many from around the world enjoy the games, even if they spelt mum wrong in the title. But Naganuma hasn't just resided under the Jet Set Radio rock, and has of course provided music for other works. One of the most prominent is in fact not even related to video games at all. Air Gear, while incredibly similar to Jet Set Radio in theming and concept, is also similar in another way. Naganuma, under the alias Skank Funk, composed the soundtrack for Air Gear as well. Now actually, it's hard to find confirmation on just how much was composed by him, but we know for a fact that the ending theme was, and you can hear remixes of old JSR tracks within Air Gear as well, as represented by this song. So, while Jet Set Radio has many other reasons to be heralded as one of the best games of its time, there's a solid reason for as to why when most people think of the game, they think of its music. The music is probably its most standout feature, and we owe that, at least partially to, Hideki Naganuma.
Also, if you need more from the criminally short-lived games, you should give Air Gear a try. While well, definitely an anime, and very clunky, it has its moments, and everything in the sound department is stellar. The dub was from Funny's much better B team, so you'll hear Greg Ayers, Chris Patton, and Brina Palencia. Basically, it's Beck, or in High School Host Club, Welcome to NHK quality. Good shit, just by the names of the VAs alone. And so, the radio will once again play static and worn out tunes, and the TV will return to being nothing more than a square plastic box. Hm. Our world is normal again, 